Welcome to Weld.com. I have a new machine here that I want to digest, and when I say digest, this thing has a lot of features to it. It's an Everless Power iMig 253 DPI. And that's a big old title. So anyway, this thing does multi-process stick, MIG, pulse MIG, dual pulse, uh, and it has a lot of adjustments and features in it. I want to keep it simple on this episode, and I just want to set up for short arc MIG, okay? So trigger mode, I want to go with 2T. That's like pulling the trigger on the MIG gun. I've got it grounded DCEP, re uh, reverse polarity. I'm running 7525 gas, about 20 cubic feet per hour. I have 035 ER70S6, okay? I have this set at 18 volts. This one does not go on wire feed speed. It actually sets on amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it at 125 as a baseline. And I wanna run some beads and go through a couple of adjustments, okay? I, I ran it, I set it up, it's short arcing just fine. Uh, I wanna kinda keep this in and around this for a baseline. I have 14 gauge material that I have cut into about eight inches long and I bead blasted the mill scale off of it. I hit it with some Walter Surface Tech uh, flap disc and, and wire wheel just to clean it up. I always like doing the clean stuff. So uh, people have asked me, they're commented and they've sent me questions. They're setting up a machine and they're thinking that it's running wrong. They're getting erratic conditions and I ask them to send me a picture. Guess what? Dirty welds, dirty material. So my first question is, how, do you, how are you keeping things clean and, and getting a good ground? How do you know that? It doesn't take very long to clean your material up. So uh, I'm gonna get my hood on, my shirt on. We're gonna come back and run beads. 18 volts, 125 amps. Okay, as I mentioned before, I had some 14 gauge and I uh, bead blasted it. We've got dirty mill scale and some grease on the backside. I zipped the whole bottom of this one and I put this one in half. I think you can see that with the light. I just want to set this up in a fillet weld here and tack it just so I can run beads. If I run the first bead, I'll run one on the other side as well. And then to make changes, I'll run at the toe and stack these welds in here. So. That ran kind of sweet and soft, 18 volts, 125 amps. And I have the inductance turned down to two. When I say down to two, it's on a scale of one to 10. When I'm setting the machine up to make sure everything was operating correctly, I set it at one and it seemed like a really nice bead. I turned it to 10 and I noticed a difference. And so I want to make some adjustments and and I want to show you what it looks like on camera and I want you, I hopefully you'll be able to hear the difference. It's a little subtle, but you should be able to hear the difference. Now, I put this weld in here and it is uh, probably 3 16 across the face of the weld. I didn't want to do it very big because remember we're on 14 gauge material. I didn't melt the back side and that's important. I do have a little bit of gray couple of places I have just some scale but that's not going to affect our next weld so let me go turn this inductance up to uh, 10 and I want you to be able to hear this
you know, hopefully you heard that. I certainly did, and it sounded a little harder, crispier, threw out a little more spatter. But here's the deal. To me, is is like my weld pool was smaller, tighter. So if I'm if I'm wanting that weld pool to freeze quick, I'm going to turn this inductance up to 10 on this particular machine. I would do that, and I would like it because some of the spatters, it'll come off real easy. Um, anyway, that's that's a control feature is setting the inductance. The main thing is, you know, we're setting up a new machine. We're going through it for the first time. Uh, we're getting this thing up and running on short arc. So far, everything is good with it. C25 gas, 035. We can run 023, 030, 035, 045. I'd like to turn this back down and stack a couple of more beads in here. The bead might look ugly. I'm not going to clean it up. It might look ugly, but I, I can assure you that is a good arc feature to have to be able to control that make that pool freeze quick like if you had to fill up some gap or something in some thin material if i was building something and my material got off or something and i had to fill a eighth inch gap on 14 gauge i would probably immediately turn that up to 10 make the weld pool freeze probably turn the voltage down just a little bit so i'm hoping this is helping so far let me, uh, let me turn that back to two and I'll stack a couple of beads. I made a machine adjustment. I turned the inductance back down to two, but then I also turned the wire up or the amperage up. I went from 125 to 135. Uh, it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. The bead is laying down. It's still a little, uh, it's still a little soft, uh, but with the added wire feed speed, the added amperage, it's just slightly bigger. And that's fine. That's what I was hoping would happen. So. I ran like two thirds of a bead in here at the toe of the previous weld, the first weld, and now I'm gonna stack another one up here at the top. Same settings, just to see what's gonna happen and see how they blend together. I think this thing's running just fine. I see some definite potential of doing some fabricating. I'm, I'm curious about continuing on and learning everything about this machine. This is not something that I would normally do when I'm building something with 14 gauge. 14 gauge, uh, even 10 gauge eighth inch material, it'd probably run one good pass and we're done with it. I stack three in here because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to see how these beads are going to lay. It's not something I'd normally do on thin material. There's no reason to stack multiple passes in there that heavy. Again, we're just trying out the machine. So short circuiting, 035 wire, ER70S6, 7525. Uh, we're short circuiting. We went through a, an inductance feature that we saw some definite benefit and some change to. So I see some features. I'm curious to uh, I'm curious to learn everything about this machine. In the next episode, we want to go through pulse MIG. So I'm going to change gas, and uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll go through those. I hope you found this educational. If you did, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Bob Moffat with Weld.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, let's uh, shut up. No response. All right, forget you. <laughs>